Hi, thank you for joining us. Now, if you've been living in Thailand long enough, at some stage you're going to be pulled up by the police at a checkpoint. Now, 99% of the time you're going to be waved through. They'll check your passport, your ID, maybe even your driver's license, whatever, and they'll wave you through. If you don't have your license with you, you might have to pay a 500 baht fine, but at the end of the day, you should have been carrying your license and you didn't. Now, very occasionally, and I have to say in 12 years living here in Thailand, it's never happened to me, but we do hear stories about these extortions or threats. Police trying to get money mostly out of tourists, and usually it doesn't go particularly well for the tourist. There have been some very highly publicized incidents over the past few days, and the police are getting in a lot of trouble and getting a lot of bad media from this. If you are caught in one of these situations, here are the things that you should do. Now, the first thing is keep calm. Let the police lead the conversation and don't say anything other than answering their questions. Secondly, the vast majority of Thai police are there to do a job, uphold the law, protecting fellow Thais and foreign visitors. Most do exactly that. But yes, there are a few who will take advantage of situations where they think they can get away with stitching you up for a few thousand baht, occasionally a lot more. Now, recent events have brought this to our attention again, and we invite everyone to just review these recommendations if you find yourself in this situation. Thai police are entitled to stop you on the street or in a car going through a checkpoint if they're suspicious about, well, anything. Don't admit to anything or agree to having your photo taken at this stage. If they ask to see your passport or ID, do so without fuss and then politely ask for the return of those items. You're entitled, politely, to ask for their ID as well. Take a note of their name badge as well. Allow any bags or your pockets to be searched. You're entitled to record this process as long as you're filming doesn't interfere with their search. Now, you should also ask for someone to act as an independent witness during this search, maybe getting them to do the filming. Don't sign anything, especially as the documents will probably be in Thai language. Don't agree to leave the immediate area that you've been stopped, even if they insist that you go to the police station or somewhere else. Ask politely for the tourist police or to contact a Thai friend who can act as an intermediary or interpreter and you can call the tourist police anywhere in Thailand on 1155. They're well versed in sorting out these situations and are your best ally if you do get mixed up in one of these particular situations. If the incident is even slightly serious, traffic accident or an accusation of drug possession, insist that you're able to call for a consular or embassy representative of your country. You may also need a lawyer. Absolutely remain polite and don't cause a scene or start shouting. This will not end well for you ever. If they start talking about a fine or a payoff, whatever the situation, just politely refuse, saying that you're waiting for an interpreter, consular official or tourist police. Do not admit to anything or start negotiating the fine. On the other hand, if you've done something wrong, speeding, being drunk, drunk and disorderly, drunk driving, possession of a small amount of drugs, a caught vaping or with a vaping device, be prepared to negotiate an on-the-spot fine and payment. Now, whatever the police want as a payment will be a lot less than the trouble you'll have to go through if you choose to refuse their on-the-spot offer. If the tourist police or a consular official advise you to pay up, do so. They've been in these situations a hundred times before. But bargain and negotiate the fine down. Start by offering them half of what they demand. Even better, let the tourist police or your Thai friend do the haggling. If you start loudly demanding to see a lawyer, raise your voice or get angry, the situation will escalate and will cause the police to lose face. And that's about the worst thing that could happen. Infrequently, the cops that stop you may not be police and instead be posing as police officers. If you suspect anything like this, 
then be additionally vigilant about waiting for some witnesses to arrive before you do anything. You're well within your rights to protect yourself from bad or fraudulent police officers. Be diligent when someone claiming to be a police officer wants to search you or your property. The bottom line of all this is never lose your cool or start raising your voice. Your success in mitigating these situations will be based on your cool and calm approach. Now I realize some of this advice may fly in the face of what you think is right and proper or the sort of things that you do in your home country. But this is Thailand and things do operate differently. At the end of the day, the recommendations are just trying to find the best way out of a sometimes difficult situation, uh, which is why we made the recommendations we did. The tourist police number, once again, 1155. If you're in Thailand, that's a good number to keep uh, in your memory at all times.